Welcome to Inside Sim Racing, I'm Billy Strange, and in this edition of Test Drive, I am previewing the Ford Mustang IMSA GTO from Race Room Racing Experience. So big thanks to them for letting me check it out early and for letting me preview it for you guys. I'm running around the Mid-Ohio course, one of my favorite tracks in Race Room. Currently using a T300 base with a 599 Evo rim and TH8A shifter. Pedals are Rickmotec GT Pro 1 pedals. Field of 18 cars. AI currently set to 115. Qualified, uh, let's see, seventh or eighth. Obviously on the get real difficulty setting for physics. Lots of on throttle oversteer, especially this first lap. Tires are cold, gotta be careful. Made uh, some quick adjustments to the car and gave myself a little too much on throttle understeer, so you're gonna see me fight that, but whew, not there though. Coming over the rise, gets a little light combined with the tires that aren't up to temp yet. Means you gotta be easy with the throttle. This is always a tricky turn, trying to get this corner right. And the car unloads and gets sideways. So as I mentioned, I made a few changes to it. Uh, the biggest change I made was the force feedback. It felt pretty good, but I used the car multiplier, went from 2.1 to 3.0, and it really helped the front end feel with the force feedback, so excellent excellent force feedback one of the probably one of the best feeling cars as far as force feedback is concerned uh, in all of race room uh, if you know almost any other sim I've actually driven so it's you know amplified it a little bit to that 3.0 it feels great drove in too deep locked the brakes up just a hair So with this preview, there are now three cars available in the GTO class. Of course, you've got the Audi, the 90 in there. You've got uh, a Nissan 300ZX and then the Ford Mustang. And these cars come from an era where I grew up. I watched these cars on TV. It's some of my favorite sports cars. Uh, this along with the GTP class and Group C. So... An excellent, excellent addition for nostalgic reasons for me in race room. Coming to the end of lap two here. Ooh, still, still some on throttle oversteer. Hold on to it. Still struggling with the handling just a little bit, trying to find out where I'm at. A little off the pace. I think I qualified with a high 127. Little too much throttle, a little too early. Roll back out, let the tires regain grip. And then back to the throttle up. Keep messing up fifth gear there. Clutch and throttle aren't aligning at the right moments. There we go, that's a much better turn. This track is about patience and, ooh, which I didn't have any there, and finding that right rolling speed. Short shift there so the car doesn't get squirrely. Back down to third. These cars were part of the GTO series of cars from the Camel uh, IMSA series. So maybe someday we'll add the Oldsmobile, uh, Toyota, the Mazda and the Mercury, perhaps? Maybe? It would be great to have a full field of these cars. As it stands right now with all the combinations, oh, down to a 126.6, that's better. Still a little off, probably tweak the settings a little bit, could go down in the 125s. But anyway, with the amount of livery options that you have, you can get, you know, a field of 18 cars on the track as it stands. They've added two more skin choices to the 90. 
uh, the Audi car. And I picked the Folgers. I picked the Folgers car because that was one of my favorites. A uh, very close second is the 7-Eleven paint scheme up there. That's right in front of me. Also like that classic 300ZX factory team car just ahead of it. And now we're starting to gain, starting to figure this out. Whoa. As always, the eight minute race is what we're running. We'll get approximately six laps or so out of that. And now I'm leaving it in fourth instead of shifting down to third. Car doesn't seem to get it sideways. Carry a little better speed through there. Nice and easy. Nice and easy through there. Like there's an egg underneath the throttle that I get I, that I shouldn't be cracking. Just gotta roll it nice and smooth. And that's the fun part of this car. Brute V8 power coming out of the turns. Really requires some finesse with that uh, throttle pedal. Back down. Oop, messed that shift up. Or shift down, rather. Get some good speed out of the back stretch here. Okay, so back to this was an era that I just I found very exciting and very interesting. They were cars that I recognized, but they were all pumped up. Uh, they were, you know, extreme versions. You know, and you had characters like Willie T. Ribs and Scott Pruitt, Dorsey Schrader, uh, Lynn St. James. Uh, at a later point, I think Tommy Kendall. You know, these drivers that I identified with at the time. And I just thought that it was it was very exciting racing, very cool looking, excellent looking cars. Give it in fourth, got a little bit of a front end push there. Try to reel it back in. I'm getting too anxious trying to catch the car too quick now. I was catching him and now I'm making mistakes. We've got about two laps to go here. A little faster that lap, a little better actually. Trying to find that right spot. Back down into third gear for the first turn here, or rather second. Second turn. Long 180. There's a couple of ways to attack that. I see some guys diamond the corner. Some just hug the bottom. Some actually will go in with a late apex, go wide, and then come off low coming out. I haven't quite decided which way I like to go through there. Lock the brakes up just a hair. I did lessen the brake pressure. I seem to be a little heavy footed with it, so... Lessen that brake pressure just a little bit so I wouldn't lock it up quite so bad. A little hesitant with the throttle, they pull away. Whoa, too much throttle. Too much. Hang on. Back to the throttle again. Oh, too much throttle again. Jeez. Calm down. So unless they make a mistake at 115% AI... Uh, they'll have to make a mistake, which is probably not going to happen. I don't think I'm going to get them, although we did close up there. Oh, too much, too much. Get too antsy. And that's it. That's the end of the race, actually. So again, excellent, excellent car. Just an immense amount of fun. Uh, you know, Very happy that Race Room has included some more cars in the GTO class and some of my favorites. I think the biggest standout feature beyond the car itself is the force feedback. The force feedback is just fantastic. It just it communicates really, really well what the car is doing. Um, I don't think I would have been able to catch the car uh, if I had not had that force feedback like I did. Um, can really feel when the car is pushing and that slip effect in the front end. Just an overall really enjoyable car to run. So thanks to Race Room for letting me check it out early and being able to officially preview it for you guys. Uh, just an excellent addition to Race Room. Fun car to drive. I know uh, some people aren't into the older classic stuff, but I like it all. And this is just something that Race Room does, and I feel that it's done it very well.
now on in the community. Pieter Jan van Holder. I hope that's how I... I hope I even got remotely close to pronouncing that correctly. Uh, he says, hey, Billy, I wonder if you could compare the Mercedes AMG GT3, the new gen version, on project cars and iRacing. Well, uh, if you've been watching the channel, I have just previewed or actually just taken a look at the new Mercedes car. I uh, wasn't a huge fan of it. It's, uh, in its stock configuration, it's really nervous. Uh, even after some tweaks, I didn't find that it did a whole lot around Brands Hatch, but I did from you guys in the community, and this is what I like doing. I, I, you know, I'm not saying I'm the fastest guy or that I know everything on how to set every car up. I really like to learn. I like to watch other people drive and look at their lines and check out uh, other setup tips, maybe something that I hadn't thought of. And I got some actually helpful tips to get that car dialed in. So a big thanks to you guys uh, for helping me out with that. And thanks to Pieter for his question. And you can be part of the community too by leaving a comment down below. You can suggest a track and or sim for the test drive series if you wish. Or are you looking forward to the new GTO content from Race Room? Let me know. I'd like to hear your thoughts. As always, thank you so much for watching. Click that like button if you found this preview enjoyable. Hopefully you did. And for more coverage on Race Room, subscribe to Inside Sim Racing and be on the lookout for more coverage in your feed.